Hi, everybody, and welcome to week 14 of EN100. I know it's not week 14, but if you're cool, I'll be cool about it. Okay? Okay. All right, so here's what you're going to be doing this week in week 14. You're going to be practicing citing your own essays. This is actually a fairly easy assignment uh, that, that he's asking you to do. It will be due on November 29th. Yes, that is the week of Thanksgiving break. As mentioned in the previous video, if you watch that, please watch all my videos. Like I record them to try to teach you all. I know they're boring, but you know, at least I'm trying. Uh, but as I mentioned in the week 13 video, uh, you working during Thanksgiving week here uh, means that your semester is going to end sooner. December 9th is the last day that you have work in this class. Like after December 9th, you don't have anything until next semester. Like you're donezo until then with a capital D. So uh, because you're working through the uh, Thanksgiving break, I know boo-hoo, but the assignment he gave you for Thanksgiving break is not the hardest assignment. So let's talk about it. Let's walk through it. So the two things that he's wanting you to do is uh, cite the cite your own essays, uh, assignment and then he also has this pdf that goes along with it that i'll upload to help you out so let's look at the cite your own essays assignment so cite your own essays using the portfolio citations guide handout from this week's activity block uh, cite your reflecting observation and informative essays for the upcoming portfolio be sure to check your citations against the examples of the handout before you submit them the handout is this right here all right, so this is right here, the citations guidelines for an argumentative essay, the reflective introduction for the portfolio. Here's how you're gonna cite your essay. Now, the main thing he's wanting is the work cited page down here, but you do need to know how to do the in-text citation because citations work in tandem. You have an in-text citation, that's half of it, and the other half is the work cited entry, the summative citation at the very end. They got to work together. You got to keep them together, even though they're separated. One's in the body of the paper and one's at the very end of the paper. They're still together in the paper. So whenever you cite yourself in text, so whenever you're referring to that example from your other essays in text, here's what you need to do. So since your uh, work cited uh, will include multiple entries by the same author, you, then your citation must tell the reader to which of your works you're referring to give the title either in the text or in a parenthetical citation. In the parenthetical citation, the full title, only if it is brief, otherwise shorten the title to the first one, two, or three main words, excluding A, and or B. Examples. In what you're talking about, I was able to demonstrate both my ability to use descriptive language and my ability to analyze the meaning of an image when I was discussing the layout of the advertisement. My understanding of rhetorical situations is evident as I analyze in the sexism in the Folgers coffee commercial by stating, comma, quote, while it is clearly unacceptable by today's standards for a husband to tell his wife that the women in the office were much better at making coffee, the general audience is, early, is in the early 1960s, which, uh, which uh, wouldn't have had a second thought about how he treated his wife. And then the parenthetical citation is when making coffee, three, because you need to include the page that you're referring to in your essay. All right, so that's how to do it in text. That's not what this assignment over here is calling for, because this assignment right here just wants your work cited page. Just the thing that happens at the very end where you at the top, you center it, bold it, underline, say work cited or references, and you hit enter, you return it to and left the line and then you list where you got your sources from that's what he's wanting and this is how to do that so work side entries here is the basic format this right here this right here is what you need to follow last name first name title of the paper the in in 100 genre essay that you're doing uh southeast missouri state university or if you're a non-dual credit student for your high school 2000 and because it's 2020, that dreadful year. Here's an example of how that would look. Susie uh, Wilson, comma, Susie, period. Quote, what you talking about, end quote, in 100 analysis essay, period. Southeast Missouri State University, are you, comma, 2020, period. Or if I was to do it, Paul, or Davidson, comma, Paul, period. Uh, title of your essay what was the title of that one big paper i did oh the three vital v's of the english uh of the english classroom period end quote uh lct uh, 8600 uh 
literacy or uh, LCT uh, 8600 uh, lit review period, uh, University of Missouri, comma, 2020 period. That's how I would do it for my big paper that I did. Uh, so the same author of two or more works, which is you, give the author's name only in the first entry for the second and any subsequent works by the same author. So, uh, substitute three hyphens for the author's name, followed by a period within the set of entries by the same author. Arrange the sources alphabetically by the first main word of the title as an example below. So you can see it goes by what was the first entry, which is usually the title of the essay. So you'll be sorting your at your works cited entries by the title of each of your essays. All right, so that will determine which order they show up in in your uh, works cited entry. So that is the assignment. You're going to submit a works cited entry. This right here to show you how to do it. In fact. Here below, down to here, this is what you need to look at to help you do this assignment. If you have any questions, email me, but that's all you have to do this week. Whenever we come back on December 1st, hopefully we'll be face to face, except for those of you who are virtual, which is Coolio, whatnot. But hopefully, uh, then, hopefully then we'll start working on your portfolio. All right, I will see y'all then, bye.